Hi guys, in this video we will go through passive scanning in Zap. So let's get started. So what is passive scanning? Passive scanning is the scanning that is being automatically performed by Zap in background as you explore your application under test. Zap by default passively scans all HTTP requests and responses sent to the web application under test. Passive scanning does not change the requests or the responses in any way and is therefore safe to use. Passive scanning is performed in a background thread to ensure that it does not slow down the exploration of the application. The passive scanning rules define what kind of vulnerabilities to check for when passively scanning a web application. Examples of some of the passive scan rules are application errors, which checks server responses for HTTP 500 or internal server errors, cookie without same site attribute which reports any cookies that do not have the same site attribute set. Cookie HTTP only that instructs the browser that the cookie being set should not be acted upon by the client side script. Cross domain script inclusion checks whether or not scripts are included from domains other than the domain hosting the content. Information disclosure in URL that checks for the existence of sensitive details within the visited URLs like document names, directory names, user ID, etc. Information disclosure in comments checks the web content to identify comments which contain potentially sensitive details which may lead to an attack or exposure of unintended data. For example, commented portion of a code with hard coded values of user ID and password. So let us see where we can configure these passive scanning rules in Zap. So let me quickly launch Zap. Zap is up and running now. So in order to configure these rules, what you need to do is go to Tools, Options, and scroll down to Passive Scan Rules. So there you will see all the rules which have been set for passive scanning. Here the threshold of a rule defines how likely Zap is going to report the potential vulnerability. If you select off option, then the passive scanner won't run for the rule at all. If you select a low threshold, then more potential issues will be raised which may increase the number of false positives. And on the other side, if you select high, then fewer potential issues will be raised, which may mean that some real issues are missed, which corresponds to your false negatives. So with the threshold option, you have the flexibility to tune Zap to suit your needs. And then we have got this column called quality of rules. If it is a release version, that means it is more stable followed by beta and alpha quality. So these are the passive scanning rules which are applied in the background. In order to configure them, there is another option. If you look in the left hand side window is a passive scanner. There you can do some configuration. The first option is only scan messages in scope. By default, Zap will scan every message it sees, but when this option is checked, the passive scan is performed only on the messages that are in scope. Please see my other video to learn more about scope and context in Zap. And then we have got this option include traffic from the fuzzer when passive scanning. When this option is checked, the passive scanning is also performed on messages generated by the fuzzer. 
we will learn about further in a separate video then we have got options max alerts any rule can raise this sets the maximum number of alerts a passive scan rule would raise max body size in bytes to scan this sets the maximum request or response body size in bytes that the passive scanner will scan so these are some options you can configure for passive scanner then on the left hand side you can also see something about passive scan tags the tags are a short piece of text that you can associate with the request passive scanning can also be used for automatically adding tags and raising alerts for potential issues this allows you to automatically tag pages which match a particular regular expression if you select the html comment one click on modify to look into details so it is looking for any kind of comments if you look at this comment two and here it is looking for any kind of html comments similarly if we look at the passwords so it will look for tag name passwords in the request a set of rules for automatic tagging are provided by default these can be changed deleted or added by the screen so let us quickly launch our test website which is mutilide and one thing to note is this eye icon on the footer bar that shows your passive scanning queue so as we explore the application you will see some values in the passive scan counter as it is running in the background and the value will reduce to zero once it is complete so let's go to manual scan and launch browser as the website is being launched so you will probably see some value in the counter see it has gone up to 43 the counter is now zero and if i click on login so it is doing some scanning in the background see it has gone up again and all these alerts which have been generated by the passive scan you can see in the alerts window so this is what passive scanning is and what options are available to perform a passive scan in zap in the next video we will go through the active scanning if you haven't done already please do subscribe share and like the video as it encourages me to create more thanks